dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this weekend we celebrate the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so Merry Christmas to all of you. We are here to celebrate Christmas. There is a deeper joy that God offers us at Christmas. A deep down joy that comes with knowing that we are loved in a special way by God. Now we are with Joseph and Mary in a church where once again, in a few moments, God the Son will come to us, this time in Holy Communion. What was little, humble and ordinary became astonishingly extraordinary. Hidden and away in little Bethlehem, almost in secret, in the quiet of the night, the very inner nature of our humanity and our world was changed. Today, hidden deep in our hearts and souls, He comes to us once again. What was true then is true now. God gave Himself to us in the birth of a baby, in humble circumstances, and God gives Himself to us now, once again, in what appears to be humble bread and simple wine. It has remained so down through 2000 years of our human history. In every celebration of the Mass, God continues to come to us in humble and simple love. What a wonder that is! The birth of Jesus Christ has changed everything for us. Human nature has been invested with God's own divine life. God's self-expression and God's love are now present to us in our humanity, in our human nature. Deep within, the material order has now been sanctified by God's own Holy Spirit. Sanctity now exists deep within us. We are endowed with it by our Creator. Our task, our work is to chip away all that disguises and disfigures our sanctity in order to reveal our true identity. The identity in which God sees us and to which God calls us individually and personally by name. That can be done only by working with God. We cannot do it on our own. Our choices have consequences. Consequences not limited to events in this life, but consequences with eternal implications. God has offered. Now we must respond. Everything depends upon the quality of our responses to God's offer, the quality and content of our daily decisions. God wants to be loved by you, and only you can love God just as you. No one else was ever you, and no one that ever will be can be just like you. You matter. You are important in God's eyes. You are the special object of God's love. No one who understands that can ever say they don't matter or that their lives don't matter or that they are unimportant. God made you to be loved as you. As you. you were in God's heart before you were born and you are in God's heart now. To tell you that, to give you that message, God sent you His only begotten Son, born of Mary, to love you, who were likewise born of your mother. Your birth was significant because Christ's birth was significant. When you look at a picture of Mary holding her son, it should remind you of your mother holding you. There is a message in that image. A message from God telling you about who you really are. 
you came into life by God's love, by God's decision. What a truly incredible thought that is. What a wonder it is then that God gave you the life of his son. What a wonder it is that God our Father will, in the bread and wine we are about to place on this altar, to give you once again the life of his son. What a joy that should give us. Each Mass is another Christmas. Each Mass is an opportunity for us to be the shepherds who heard the angels on high and for us to be the Magi as well. Each one of us can follow in their footsteps and thus find Mary and her son and receive, receive her, that she receive them as they offer to us. Her son conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, one who is both son and God and one who came to redeem us. Now we are with Joseph and Mary and, and Jesus in a church where once again, in a few moments, God the Son will come to us, this time in Holy Communion. Never say that you have nothing to give Him. Never say that you have no value or that your life is a waste. God has gone to great lengths, infinite lengths, to come to you looking for your love. You can give God no greater gift this Christmas than to give him your love in return. And so once again, Merry Christmas to all of you and God's blessings on you and your families.